Hey YouTube, Sam here. Well, we're replacing the, well no, we're not replacing. We're going to pack the bearings on the wheels of my, it, this is similar to a Harbor Freight trailer, but quite honestly, I picked this up like 25 or 30 years ago at, at uh, Fred Meyers, actually, when they were selling them. I, used, I bought this when I was a teenager to haul around my motorcycles. Um, and honestly, I may have done this once before, but I honestly don't even know if I've done it once in that amount of time. And they're still rolling good. They're not, you can hear a little bit of wiggle, but nothing that's horrible. But I should have done this a long time ago. So we're going to go ahead and take the bearings out and pack them. Um, and hopefully they're still in good enough shape that I can just pack and them. And the first and thing we got the bearing out of this side so now we've got to get the bearing out of the back here and I just got this uh, little pry bar tool and there's up underneath here there's a seal just go in there and pop that out I make special polar for those but for this application it's not worth it and you're gonna have to go buy a new seal if you pull it that way but even with seal polar you'll probably have to go buy a new seal and this one definitely looks scuzzier than the last one but it really I mean it's turning pretty good there's not too much play in here it's just I'm putting the best cookie. of the two on the on the back and the reason is is because that sealed bearing once you seal it you don't want to be yanking this in and out to replace bearings or you got to buy a new one so now we're going to take and we're going to take a handful of grease here, and this is how a real mechanic, <laughs> get in trouble for saying that, uh, packs bearings. This is called packing your bearings, and you're going to put a decent amount in the palm of your hand here. In fact, I'm going to, you want it towards, kind of towards the t upper part of your hand. Then you're going to take your bearing and get a good hold on it, and you're going to go into that pile. And you're going to kind of wipe it up the back of your palm here. And then get a little bit more, wipe it up the back of your palm. And you're going to do that until you see little beads coming out here. Now there's a million ways to skin a cat. They make machines that do this for you, but I don't know. I was always taught that this is the way everybody should learn how to do it at least once this way. And with a bare hand. No gloves allowed. Uh, anyhow. This is how I was taught to do it, so it's how I've always done it. And I mean, I will say, if somebody says, oh, just pack it all up with grease and slap it in, don't do that. You need to make sure that you're getting the grease inside of here, inside the middle of these bearings. And the only way to know you're doing that is by taking it and doing this up your hand. And you just take a little bit, squeeze it up your hand, take a little bit see how much it took that took that much just to get it to come out of these out of there you're gonna see it squish right out of the top here a little bit so you really do want to do it this way or get one of those machines if you're a big giant wuss and uh, just move it around and just do it a little bit at a time till you see that all of a sudden you'll notice like now everywhere I do it it's coming out right away so that means that all the way around here, this is good and packed. I'm going to do a couple more just to make sure. Okay. And then that will go right down in there. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my other bearing because I already have a mess in my hand. And this is the one for the front. And I'm going to do the same thing. You don't need to watch me do that. But I also probably am not going to be able to turn off the camera for it. There it is. And the TMC part number is 31X52X7TC-BX. So that's what I got. It should take care of what it was in here. Now what was in here was the metal, old school metal ones with the rubber inside here um, these ones now are completely rubberized with kind of what it looks appears to be some sort of a metal inside um, being covered with the rubber 
and there is a spring around here now you got to be careful with that spring I've had problems with those in the past popping out and make sure that you have the back um, I put this in the front my other one luckily I was able to get it out with too much damage these do you know if you get them in and out fairly quickly they're they don't have too much damage to them they're a little bit more forgiving these these ones they don't bend as much as the metal ones now I'm just going to squish this in here best I can with my thumbs. These, like I said, they're a little more forgiving. Now you just want to go to where it's flush. So now I am going to take my ball peen hammer here. And you heard in the beginning it kind of had a rubbery sound, which I still need to come down a little bit. I can feel I'm pretty good over here, but I need to come down a little bit here. So tip the hammer up. sound. Now yet again, many different ways to skin a cat on that one, but and that's here how we I'm are doing it. back at the trailer here. And we're going to carefully slide this on. Now first of all, you'll see I gre grease this. Um, I went ahead and greased this when I did the other side just so I didn't have a ton of grease all over my hands. You're going to get greasy anyway, but um, sliding that on there as far as it'll go here. And then you're going to put your front bearing in and put that in. And make sure everything's riding on your bearings here. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Sam, Jack of All, Master of None. You all have a good one.